All right, guys, let's talk foottrading.co.uk. You guys ask how you can support my content. That is how you do it. In return for supporting my content, you will get the buying and selling prices for every single card on this game for as low as £10 a month. It's really, really easy to use. But what we like about the site is we teach you guys how to trade. It's not just go and buy these cards. We teach you guys why it is. I even handwrite two guides every single week giving you guys the ins and outs of trading and why we do what we do and what to look out for. £10 a month for Tier 1, £15 a month for Tier 2, £20 a month for Tier 3, and you will never need to spend a single penny on FIFA points ever again. So check out the website, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below, click that like button, let's aim for 125 likes on this video, and comment down below if any questions, queries, anything you want to see on the channel, uh, anything you need advice with. Alternatively, obviously, join the week. I stream live on YouTube at 10 a.m. and on Twitch at 5.30 p.m. Feel free to drop into streams. I will be live right now opening up these 59 packs, um, which we have crafted for basically complete, well, actually for profit. We, did, we actually made 4K or something while we were doing them. The video for that and showing you guys how to do that will be live tomorrow. So make sure you check out that video. Turn notifications on so you get notified when it goes live. But um, this video really is a simple, simple what you guys can be buying right now to uh, invest in. So tonight specifically is when we've got most of our interest um, in making some coins, holding on to a few bits you might want to do for a little bit. And um, yeah, in the long term, making some very, very good profit would be would be the aim. So we're going to head over to Footwiz. It's going to go over into detail about these fantasy foot cards and why they're great to invest in. Um, and we're going to look at fodder as well today. It's got quite low. There's a really nice buy point potentially tonight on it. I'll be right back. All right. So welcome to... Um, Footwiz, that's what we are at Footwiz. Um, and basically the fantasy foot cards. Now, I really like this as a promo in general. I think it's a very, very decent promo. I think it's a really cool concept. Um, and there's a lot of cards that can become very, very usable. Now, you've got to remember, this is a pretty a pretty easy um, way of getting upgraded. Playing three or five games, every single person in this promo pretty much starts for their teams. Give or take a couple, that camera thing that goes in and out, basically. But pretty much everyone starts for their team. So almost everyone is going to get, barring an injury uh, or suspension, the three or five uh, starts, which means that they get a plus one. Okay. Then you need either a goal or assist um, for an extra plus one. And then it is a win, I believe, for the other one. So almost certainly at least two, most of these cards are going to get possibly three. Okay. These are live cards and they're not too much more expensive than their counterparts in terms of fodder prices. We'll talk about fodder specifically afterwards. But Dominic Corp, for example, 16.5k. Now, remember that, that's an average. You can get this card a lot cheaper than that. I've seen that people pick him up with snipes at 13, 14k. At the moment, 85s on this game. He's expensive, more expensive than them. But 85s on this game are currently um, between 8.5 and 8.7k. Now, we're going to talk about that in a minute because it's a lovely price at the moment on those. But he gets one upgrade and that gets him to the price you're basically buying him at now. Except... He's a very, very usable, very, very good CDM. That boost is going to make him even more usable, okay? So he plays three games, he gets that boost. All he's got to do then is get one further boost, either a clean sheet or a goal to assist to make him very good profit. Because you turn from 16k into minimum 20, although fodder is low right now, and that's why it's like it's it's even, even less so looking at the moment, but it's more profit in the long term. But again, that then becomes a fantastically usable CDM from the Bundesliga, which is a league a lot of people like engaging with this year. You've got Bellingham in there, Wurtz, all these really, really good cards. Someone like Dominic Kurz is an easy one to buy into. Jose Sarr, he's 86 rated. If you look at that there, 14.5k at the moment. Currently selling for what? 23k. Now, I wouldn't surprise me. You'd probably get a 21k relatively easily. But again, clean sheet probably will get one. Not guaranteed. But he'll still start, which is great. That's, that's There's no doubt about that, realistically. Um, and a win. So from 23k to 88k, uh, to 88 rated, sorry, that gets it up to what? 28k, give or take, depending on the card. So again, profit there. So if you want to buy more than multiples of them, you can buy multiples. You can buy loads of them. But if you just want to make a little bit of extra coin, buy one of each. Stick a Nodrazola, stick a Jose Sarr, stick a Dominic Crew in your club. I also, it's risky, but I like the look of this Anaki Williams card. Yes, his weak foot is bad. But if this Anaki Williams card, Anaki Williams card, gets up an, an upgrade or two. 99 pace into 89, 90 shooting into 90 dribbling. This card could go very, very high. It could get very, very high indeed. And we're looking at what? Possibly a 90 rated card 
If he gets the one upgrade, he's not far off the price anyway. Two upgrades even. He's not far off the price of what that card, those cards cost. It's it's a risk, but I don't think it's that big of a risk. And I really, really like it as, as a as a thought process. I, I would be thinking about that fully because I think it's a really, really nice little buy. Stick one of each in your club and you could be looking at sort of 40, 50, 60k for zero work. If these cards really do slam, you could be looking at a lot more than that. A couple of hundred K, two, three hundred K even. I'm buying one of each and sticking them in my club because I don't see a reason not to. They've, they've got their value there. It only takes a little link to someone and they boom anyway. So we've seen it happen a fair few times this year. Manafa, for example, when we got that Jesus Corona card, boomed from like 15k all the way up to like 80, I think it was. It's, it's, it's madness. So I like those a lot. We're going to talk about fodder in a second as well. This is something that everyone should get involved in. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are with the fodder. Basic bit of advice, ignore 83s. They don't exist, all right? Never buy 83s, they're terrible. But fodder right now is, is low. It isn't, it isn't like, we're not talking on the floor low, but it's low. However, tonight we're going to get a lot of supply from these packs, and I think there's a really good opportunity here to make some very easy coins. Now, we know the cards that have done the best this year tend to be the 84s and the 85s. And these are one that, that tend to do the best. When the 86s and 87s and even 88s bang, they do fantastically well. You get a lot, a lot of um, profit on them. They can get up to sort of 39. If you look at Lukaku, for example, 26k at the moment. If we look at his sort of highs, look, sort of 39. Even recently, as high as 30,000 coins. Tonight, a, f a fair few buys into something like Lukaku could do really well. But what I like, the, the best look of is the 85s. Like Griezmann, Depay, Hazard. If you ever look at him, Hazard 8.5k right now. He's had highs at his highest, highest of like 15k. Recently only been up sort of what, 9.8k? Then a jump there. Where's this jump here? I want to see that there because it's not showing it. But it's over 10k there. There you go. So 10,000 coins, okay? 10,000 very, very recently. We get supply tonight and he gets down to seven, seven and a half. Tonight, tomorrow, I'd be looking at these cars and thinking, right, let me go and pick up 50 of them. There's no reason not to. Because if you go and pick up 50 of them and you get 3k profit before tax after them, you're looking at well over 100,000 coins for something that's probably going to be no more than... A few, a few days old at all. So if you're sitting there thinking, I really can't be bothered to trade this weekend, it's a really easy way to make coins. Degrees me again. All these 85s are fantastic. If you want to make more profit and you're sitting there thinking, I've got time on my hands, the 84s can do really well. Carrasco's 3,800 at the moment. There's a 5,000 coin there. All it takes from this though is one big SBC and it usually comes in the second week of a promo. EA go, here you go. Here is a ridiculous... I don't know, really, really good SBC. The, the SBC the other day, the um, campaign SBC, something like that again will see these cards do quite well, I think. And tonight, I think you're going to be able to pick up a lot of these 84s for so anywhere in around 3k. It happened last week, and there's, there's it's a no-brainer, in my opinion, to get involved in it because it's easy profit, and it's something that means you haven't got to sit there all weekend by like, right, maybe go and buy all these cards, buy all these cards, buy all these cards. You just go and buy these now on a Friday, Saturday, and forget they exist. And then just go and play your games, play your weekend league, do what you've got to do. If you don't want to go unassigned, go higher tier. So if you really don't want to go unassigned, go something like 85s, 86, 87s. They all still do really well. Di Maria, 18.8k at the moment. He's had highs recently of, what, 24k? So you've got about 5k gap on him at the moment, give or take. So each, each Di Maria that bumps up to that, which is what we're talking two days ago, every Di Maria that gets up towards 24k, you're looking at a minimum per card of something in the region of, what, 4,000 coins at the moment? And that's not allowing for him dropping off tonight in value, which is probably where you want to be looking at these cards. I forget that one there, I'm at 13. But it's a no-brainer. It really is a no-brainer to be buying these cards. And it's, at the moment on FIFA, because the game's quite stagnant, these are the things, these are the plays. So you're not sitting there feeling like you've got to sit on the game, grind the game, do whatever else it is. These short-term holds and short-term investments are really, really good. I really like the look of some of these fantasy foot cards. I think they can be fantastic. I think a couple of upgrades on these cards, because people are looking at them as fodder. And I get that. I understand the thought process. I do it a lot myself. But some of these cards are better than fodder. Some of these cards are a lot better than fodder. And it just takes an upgrade or two. And suddenly they go they go mad. Dominic Core, for example. Great pace. Decent, like good defensive stats and good physicals. That defensive, those defensive stats going up by one or two. Suddenly takes it to 90 awareness in the mid 85s. And along that, those lines, really good passing. This Dominic Core could suddenly become a very, very, very good CDM that people really want. And if you're buying these cards, like I said, you can buy them with position changes, chem stars as always, make sure a lot of coins on them. But right now I'd be thinking about that. One of each of these foot fantasy cards, if you don't want to go on a sign or you don't want to buy more, that is fine. Because it is a long hold. They do um 
They do take until April to start getting upgraded, so you might not want to hold too long. But Fodder right now is your play. Buy Fodder. Go absolutely ham on Fodder tonight. Get it maybe a K or two below where it is right now, and you cannot go wrong. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.